What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl gossip girl. And today I want to talk to you about Alicia Watts. There's an update. And it's not a good update. It's sad news, actually. Let's go ahead and get into it. Boyfriend of missing North Carolina woman arrested after her remains were found. The boyfriend of Alicia Watts, who has been missing for over a month, has been arrested for her murder. James Dunmore was seen handcuffed outside his home in University City as multiple police officers watched on Thursday afternoon. He has been charged with the murder of Alicia Watts, who was 39 years old, who was last seen leaving his house on July 16th, and that was confirmed by the authorities. Her remains were found earlier in the day near the border of Richmond and Montgomery counties in Norman, a small town along Interstate 74. As a result of the continued investigation in the search for more county residents, a resident, Alicia Watts, along with the collaborative effort of multiple law enforcement agency, this case is no longer considered a missing person investigation and has transitioned into a homicide investigation, Moore County Sheriff Ronnie Fields said at the time. Alicia Watts um, was an advocate for people with mental, is mental health issues and the elderly and was set to attend a comedy show at Bojangles Coliseum in nearby Charlotte following her visit with Dunmore on July 16th. But family members said she never showed up. It just wasn't normal. That's not like her, Watts' cousin um, Gwendolyn said. She said she decided to return home and saw that Watts' car was still parked at Dunmore's house. But the car was gone if, um, a few hours later. James Dunmore was found two days later unresponsive in Watts' Mercedes-Benz SUV outside the Department of Motor Vehicles office in Anson County. And Watts was reported missing the next day. By July 20th, investigators found a shell casing near Dunmore's home. Now, the Charlotte Mecklenburg police said it was from a 9mm handgun. Police returned to Dunmore's house on July 26th and seized clothing, cell phones, a camera, a laptop, a memory card, and photographs as they investigated Watts' disappearance. A search warrant for the items noted that Dunmore had tried to commit suicide before he was found inside Watts' vehicle and officials announced he was a person of interest in the case. Dunmore had a previous criminal history in Virginia that included convictions for abduction, assault, and battery and stalking. A domestic violence protection order had also been filed against him in Durham County, North Carolina by a woman who said she was in a relationship with him. The woman claims she was kidnapped and Dunmore threatened to kill her, according to the documents obtained by the local news station. We were not aware of none of that said Gwendolyn, and that's Alicia Watts' cousin. If we were aware of his background and the rap sheet he has, there was no way it would have sat comfortable with us or Alicia. She remembers her cousin for her generosity and said Watts was set to open up a group home for those with mental disabilities. She also spoke up for people that weren't able to speak for themselves. You know what? He, he tried to take himself out and it didn't work. You know, it didn't work. So now he would go to jail. It was meant for him to go to jail. Hmm. You know, I send my prayers and condolences to our family. This is really sad. It's, it's, it's just really sad. I would never understand why men do these type of things. And I know women do it too, but I just don't understand what's, what was the, why would you, you know, why take her life? Just go your separate ways. It's that simple. If there was trouble in their relationship, he should have just 
parted ways from her. But it's in his history. He has a rap sheet. He has a background of stalking and um, domestic violence and kidnapping and, and all types of stuff. He got that in his background. And to be honest with you, I don't think Alicia knew. Because she is, you know, she sounds she's a wonderful person with a good head on the shoulders. And I just don't think that if she knew about his rap sheet, that she would still be with him. But his ugliness came out. And unfortunately, she's not here anymore because of him. And that's sad. That's really sad. But he's going to jail for a very long time. Okay. And I hope when he get there, I hope they leave the cell doors open. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Because he needs to be taught a lesson. Okay. But anyway. Like I said before, I send my prayers and condolences to her family and her friends. This is very unfortunate. <sighs> I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Well, you guys have a good one and I'll talk to you later.